Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we're going to go ahead and review a fragrance that was released in the year of 2001. The fragrance is called Michael for Men from the house of Michael Kors. Now this fragrance should not be confused with uh, Michael Kors by Michael Kors for Men. Uh, you'll see this one specifically is Michael for Men and not Michael Kors for Men. So there's a, t there's a difference between the two. Uh, this one that I'm talking about, uh, again, released in 2001 and more specifically the newer one, the Michael Kors for Men, was released in 2014. Bottles are sort of similar except for uh, you can see there's a little, there's a bit of a difference between the two. So. Uh, you know, do your due diligence on it before you buy it. Re realize that this is referring to the older version, not the newer version of this fragrance. Now it comes in two main sizes, actually three main sizes, a 1.3, 2.5, and a 4.0. It's a little bit harder to find all the sizes now that it's been out for so long, uh, but keep that in mind. Generally for like the 2.5, you can spend to pay anywhere between like 30 and $50. This is a scent that's been heavily, heavily duped. So be careful when you buy it. You may have to go to a third party or to you know an actual retailer and purchase this fragrance if it's still around. So it might be a little bit tricky to actually buy this one, only because you're probably you may be inundated with the newer Michael Kors that has been out. All right, uh, so that uh, pretty much sums it up. Now let's get on to the actual scent of the uh, fragrance. The first thing that really hit me with the scent when you start off is the patchouli. It's patchouli and then it's immediately replaced with this uh, very heavy tobacco note. This is an old school fragrance through and through. It makes no qualms about being really strong and at the same time it really kind of experiments and goes in different ways. So you get that patchouli, tobacco, uh, you start to get you know a little bit of fruitiness in the, in the scent. The fruitiness doesn't come to the top but you do get that fruitiness in the scent. You get a lot of spices in the scent. So with, if you look at the note list, one thing that you can definitely do with this fragrance is start picking out notes here or there, like the star anise. You're like, I can smell the star anise. I can get the star anise in this fragrance. You can start picking out notes here and there. In fact, this is a really good, uh, what I call almost like a tester fragrance. Uh, when I wanna start, you know, uh, when I make a recommendation to people to start picking out notes, this is a kind of a fragrance I would recommend to them and say, here's the note list, see if you can actually smell it. And over time, they begin to smell a little bit more of the notes for it. And But that's neither here nor there. Anyways, the fragrance lasts a long time, anywhere between like 8 and 14 hours. And it projects a good amount, so it's going to be about 4 feet around from you. And this is even only with two sprays, which is the sprays that I recommend you going with this fragrance. It's a more mature fragrance. It's for people, uh, you know, who've got their, who've got their S together. Uh, it is, you know, a fragrance that you can wear definitely in the winter. It's a winter fragrance. It's a fragrance that you can wear going to club. You can wear casually. It's one that definitely suits those uh, scenarios. I would not recommend it for a younger person, but personally, that's just me. It, it did not give me any compliments, but that does not mean that I don't think that it's not a compliment getter. I do think that it is a compliment getter. Uh, I just didn't experience any with it, just because it's a powerful smelling fragrance. It smells really nice and sensual, and in the right hands, uh, this will definitely produce a lot of compliments. You will have uh, people on you on this. Not, I would say, I would say this is a more between the sheets kind of compliments, if you will. Um, so take that take that <laughs> just you know take that at face value without going any further into it all right so if I'm gonna go ahead and give this fragrance a rating I give this fragrance a rating a three and a half out of five stars now let's go down the list scent I am a fan of this but it's a little bit too old school for me uh, which I know is a little bit unfair just because you know I'm reviewing it now in 2017 it was released 16 years ago but you know uh, it is what it is. I think it's a little bit dated. Uh, it's not something personally that I would reach for um, in terms of, you know, uh, choosing something to wear for a night out fragrance because I just have a lot, you know, more modern uh, or better fragrances that I think do it a little bit better because um, on the worst kind of side of things, if you overspray this, this will give you a headache. Um, so be very careful on that and I would highly suggest actually not spraying it anywhere near where you know it's going to waft up into your nose but performance is on its peak it's awesome great performance it gets full marks for that for its uniqueness 
Uh, there are a lot of fragrances that kind of do what it does, uh, but it is, you know, somewhat semi-unique, so I'm going to give it kind of half marks for that. Um, as far as compliments goes, this one it does not get any compliments, or sorry, gets a lot of compliments. I was thinking of something else, but yes, compliments, I'm giving it full marks. And finally, for the value, I'm giving it half. Uh, yes, I realize you can buy this, you know, pretty cheaply right now, but at the same time, you know, I'm not fully giving it uh, the value, only because heavily copied, and at the same time, you can find many other fragrances like it. So that pretty much concludes my review. Let me know what your thoughts are on this fragrance. If you have smelled this, I'm always curious to see what you guys see. Thank you guys, take care of yourselves, and you guys have a great day.